Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Making an Impact with the Zebu Nation and today the 2020 MLS regular season grinds on and it uh, you know it's heading towards what is looking to be a pretty exciting finish as you can see here we are now a scant two points ahead of Montreal 50 points they've got 48 but we have distanced ourselves from Columbus five points ahead of them so it's an interesting race here in the Eastern Conference now in terms of overall we've edged a little closer to the Titans of the Western Conference which is LAFC and Portland Timbers we're within uh, seven points of LAFC and nine points of Portland so three straight wins is all we need and we can catch up with Portland I don't know if that's gonna happen with only four games left we'll see but it starts today with a game versus New York Red Bulls. But before we get to the Red Bulls, who are out of playoff position currently. And by the way, we've secured playoff position for ourselves. But uh, New York is four points out now, five points out. So they got they need a win. Only four games left. They've only got three games left. So they absolutely need a win. But speaking of securing playoff positions, we got some uh, some club news to look at. First of all, Delessandro wins the Player of the Month award. Look at that. Four appearances, three goals, 8.3 rating. Played very well. Beat out Eason Garcia of Colorado, 19-year-old Colombian, who had similar stats. Looks to me like better stats. Four goals and three appearances, so I don't know what they judge it on. Will Keane also for Colorado from Ireland played very well. Three goals, three appearances, 8-0 rating. So a lot of good, uh, a lot of good results this month. But uh, our man Delessandro and he has been playing extremely well. Um, players of the week: Kyle Laren got Player of the Week this week for two goals in our last game. We'll look at that in a minute. Canada duty is coming up, but I've decided to withdraw four players. Kyle Lar Laren, Petrasso, Piet, and Chevalier have all been uh, pulled out because uh, the Team Canada, they're just doing friendlies. So I don't really see the reason why we should send them out at you know this critical juncture in the season just to go play some friendlies. I mean, they are going to play El Salvador and Mexico, so those are two rival-type teams, but you know what, let's forget about that because we got our own uh, games to win. So we're still sending a few guys out. We still have like 10 guys going out to Canada duty to the various teams. But still, um, we don't want to worry about that. So as you can see, there's Kyle Laren with two goals over New England. Take a look at that game real quick. As you can see here, we played a very good game, New England. Played a pretty poor game, honestly. Um, Delisandro got two assists in there. Raheem Edwards, yellow card, 6.6. .6, not so good. Jackson Amell, only a 6.4 rating before being replaced by Kyle Laren. That's why Laren had his goals in the second half. I guess we can take a look at those goals just to, just to throw some highlights in the package here. Why not? Got... Uh, here it is, Raheem Edwards looking around, drops it back to Taylor, bombs it forward to Edwards, back post, Delisandro heads it down, and Kyle Laren. That was a great play by Delisandro. Kyle Laren with the easy finish, so it's nice when he can get some easy ones. And speaking of easy ones, here's Duvern down the right hand side. He's been getting forward a lot more later. He gets it to Delisandro again and again. Lays one on a silver platter for Kyle Laren. So those two are starting to pick up some nice chemistry. And we're going to need that chemistry going down the road into the playoffs. So that's outstanding. And then here we are securing playoff positions. Montreal, Orlando, LAFC have guaranteed themselves a spot in the playoffs. So basically that just means even if we lose all of our games, we won't we won't be out of the playoffs. We'll be in the playoffs somewhere, whether that's first place or last place. Who knows? But we'll be in there somewhere. So today we're going to take on uh, the Red Bulls. I'm going to hand this uh, 
over to the assistant coach. We're again sticking with the four one two three. It's been doing wonders for us. Even though we're a little thin uh, at certain positions, this is covering up some of our faults. So I think it's okay. It's uh, you know we've been having some strikers go in and out of the lineup. Jackson Amell is injured for a couple of games, so you know there's no reason to have two strikers up top when you're not at your best. Speaking of Jackson Amell and some other players, we got contract issues to worry about. We got several contracts coming up, including Jackson Amell, including Mane, who's kind of been replaced by Delisandro. And Jackson Amell or Mane's got a huge contract. So if he's going to want to re-sign at another huge price tag, we'll probably just let him go and stick with Delisandro on the right-hand side because he's been playing so well. I mean, I know it's kind of a downgrade in terms of age, but we've got a lot of options right now in terms of uh, wingers. So, I mean, as long as they're healthy, we got a lot of options. So next year, we'll have options. This year, not so much. We got who we got. So here's the Red Bulls. We are favorite, five to two favorites. We're in excellent form right now. Four wins and a draw in our last five. They're in inconsistent form. One win in their last five games. That's so no good. I'm pretty sure we've looked at the Red Bulls before and what they're all about. Take a look at their registration here. Well, we got 22 players on the squad, so maybe we don't. They've got, uh, you know, they still have 200,000 in salary that they could be using, which they're not. Let's take a look at their transfer history, see what they've been up to. Draft picks. Picked up three guys from the waiver drafts. Eric Zavaleta from uh, FC Dallas, valued at a million point one. Pretty good. He's a nice player. Pick him up. Ari Lassiter from Minnesota United. Mm, they let him go, so they picked him up and just dropped him. Tim Richards, likewise, picked him up and dropped him. So no good there. They picked up four guys from their academy, three guys from the draft, so not a lot going on there. Trades. They picked up some draft picks. They sold Mezquita to Real Salt Lake, or traded him anyway. Um, picked up first round pick from Chicago, Stefan Aignier, Egner, 33 year old German right winger of some sort, not too good, um, nice mentally I guess, not great physically and sort of in the decline. So maybe not a great, uh, great move. They picked up O'Neill, no they left they traded O'Neill Fisher to LAFC. Traded Daniel Stairs to Seattle. Picked up one of our international slots. Oh, this was a this was a really bad trade for New York. A good trade for us. I forgot to mention this. So we traded them Maracal for a fourth round pick, and then they uh they dumped him they waived him so we picked him back up in the waivers and so we got him back for nothing good job for us so we we managed to get a free fourth round pick out of the red bulls and we'll just trade that away at some other point but hey it's free money right basically so that's probably why the red bulls have run out of steam they don't have enough players they only got 22 players on the roster so let's see what we can do i think uh Right now, everything's looking okay. I did want to make one move. I wanted to bring Petrasso in for Edwards and see if he can uh, reclaim his starting position. But other than that, I think we're going to keep this with the same lineup that we had in our last game versus Orlando. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Kyle Aaron up top. Yeah. He's going to be starting from now on. No more of this crazy talk. All right, so we got Jackson Amell on the bench, Edwards, Dupuy, Nasco, Pantami, Logan Pujol, and uh, Lutweiler. Why do we have Pujol in there? Um, Boxall, I think, was slightly injured or something, so we're going to put Boxall back in there. There we go. That's a much better team. Okay, let's go. 
coming down to the end of the season. It's always exciting. This time we're actually sort of in, um, you know, on the outskirts of a supporter shield. At least we're in the running. We're top of the league. We're near top of the league, which is what the uh, board wanted. So anyway. Uh, they're going with a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, Interesting. Robles still in goal. Kamar Lawrence. Zavaleta Murillo. Adair. A lot of familiar names here. Philippe. Peterson. And a bong up top. So. Interesting. Interesting lineup. Um, we have Thiago in goal, of course. Taylor and Duverne at fullbacks. Cabrera and Chevalier in central defense. Piet. Ramos and Lopez in the midfield. Petrasso. You saw that move. Alessandro. Delisandro on the right. He has become our star player. Which I guess, you know, he's a designated player for us. 7.8 rating, 4 assists, 3 goals, and only 6 appearances. So this guy has done wonders as a late season acquisition. And then Kyle Laren up top. Let's get to the dressing room pep talk. Um, we're the favorite, so go out sure and make sure there's no doubt as to why. Forget that. Advice. All right, close down on a bong. Peterson. Adair is injured, but we're going to close down on him anyway. Hmm. Doesn't look like their fullbacks are coming forward. I don't know. It's been such a long time since I've faced just a 4-4-2, regular old 4-4-2. Here's the coaches high-fiving before halftime here at Red Bull Arena. Let's go. I'm not hearing any sound. Yeah, well, as long as you can hear my voice, I guess we're okay. I should probably check that after this recording, because I could be recording a bunch of games with no sound. Delisandro gets to Kyle Laren. There's going to end the first highlight right there. That's fine. Hey, Dare's dealing with a bit of an injury, down to 81%. Okay, first highlight of the game, two minutes in. Petrasso has it across midfield. He's looking, he's diving inside as he's wont to do. Drops it back to Ramos, to Lopez. Mistimed ball forward, but it was a good thought. Um, a bong wins it. Tries to play it forward, but Cabrera is there. Cabrera's played pretty decently for us. He fell off last season at the end of the season, and he was replaced. Lopez, what are you going to do with it, my buddy, my man? And drop it back to Duverne. Interesting move. Here's Delisandro. He's looking around. He's going to get it to Lopez. Got it back somehow by hook or by crook. His cross deflected. Duverne Lopez. Oh, almost a good pass. Delisandro plays it wide to Petrasso. Well, about as wide as Petrasso is. He's uh, leaking inside a bit too much. I don't know if I like that. But anyway, back to Cabrera. He's been playing well for us the last three games, I guess, he's been in there. And he's played, uh, you know, good enough. Good enough that we haven't really missed Bruno. He's been sort of banged up. Here's Kyle Laren. Gets it forward. There's Lopez off the post. Kyle Laren gets it back off the post as well. Lopez, my man. You should have scored there. I mean, I know that's not your forte, but if you're going to get forward, then let's make it count. Here's Piet on the corner. Okay. He's going to drop it back. Petrasso. Petrasso goes out wide on the wrong side of the field and just sends it into Robles. Petrasso is sort of feeling himself right now he's just all over the field doing whatever he wants he's not sticking to his position at all none of those shots counted as shots on target because they banged off the post so we'll see what's going on i got uh, a replay of the portland seattle match going on in the background don't tell me how it ends you know <laughs> even though i don't know how the timeline works here because this game was like a week ago as I'm recording this now, so for like for you, it'll be like three weeks ago, probably. But anyway, don't tell me how it ends. I don't know. Um, okay, here's Philippe for for the Red Bulls to Kamar Lawrence, and he scores. I tell you, there's something about this Red Bull team. They just uh, they've got our numbers for some reason. The last loss we had was against. Red Bull. So I'll be very happy if they are not in the playoffs, especially if they, you know, if we stick to first place, I definitely don't want them in last place in the playoffs because then we're more likely to see them in the next round should they make it through the uh, uh, wild card round. That is. But anyway, 
I will be glad to get rid of the Red Bulls. Murillo's got a yellow card. We're still pretty average rating right now. We're a little bit frustrated, so let's tell the boys to uh, calm down. Piet with a yellow card. He sort of he didn't get the calm down message because he's fired up, and now he's frustrated. Piet is a fiery character. Oh, here's Philippe with another free kick. Drops it to a dare with the shot. Okay, okay. We haven't had a highlight in a while. Here we go. Speak of which, Piet gets it forward. No, Petrasso can't win that. He's just surrounded. Now here they are. Here's the Red Bulls playing it around. Philippe has it across midfield. Sends it wide for Peterson. He beats Taylor to the punch. Centers for a bong again with the header. He goes right over our defense, even though Duvern tried to intercept it in midair. I do not like that. Our back line is just not uh, not as sturdy in the air as I would like. You know, Cabrera and Chevalier should be pretty good. 14 jumping reach, 14 heading for Cabrera. 16 jumping reach, 12 heading for Chevalier. So it sort of evens it out there. They're both basically rated 14s, so they should be okay. Taylor to Ramos. Let's see. Let's see if we can get one back. Here's Lopez. Is he going to shoot it? He does. Again, it's not really his forte. Lopez is a hard dude to uh, nail down in terms of what what is he. He's got great vision and teamwork, but poor passing. Um. He's got great first touch and dribbling. I guess he's got okay finishing for a midfielder, nine. So I guess he's I guess he's a decent attacking midfielder. He doesn't have a lot of pace, though. Um, just mentally, he's so strong. Fitness-wise, he's very strong. And then technically, he's okay getting better, but we need him to get significantly better in the next two years in order for him to be a real you know, impact regular player for us. Okay. So, Red Bulls, and speaking of impact, we have made none this first half. Decent shots, most are coming from long range. Encourage our players to play more long balls forward. Okay, we can give that a shot. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. Try more direct passing. Hit early crosses, or look for underlap. Underlap makes us take a breather. Um, yeah, because we want, we want our wingers downfield. I mean, there's no, no doubt about that. Um, let's bring Taylor forward somewhat, even though he is very shaky in that role. Only eight dribbling, three crossing. Now, there's really no point. <laughs> there's really no point. Taylor is a defender, and that's it. We could bring in Pantomie, but he is not much better if not worse so left fullback is a bit of an issue for us in terms of getting forward now defensively he's great but uh, we're gonna have to focus our attack down the right hand side here so let's get to the dressing room pep talk let's be assertive show me something else let's go the old show me something else talk sure to fire him up every time oldie but a goodie Let's go. So if we lose this game, then, uh, you know, there's definitely no hope of a supporter shield. Not that there's much of a hope as is. There's a very slim hope. But at least we won't have any problems with the board who want us to finish around the top of the league. And third place is around the top of the league. I don't know how much uh, more around you can get. I guess second place. But anyway, it's good enough. It's all about the playoffs now because we, I mean, I kind of want more Champions League next year. And in order to get the Champions League now, either something weird's going to have to happen with, uh, in terms of who has qualified already, like whoever won the, um, the U.S. Cup, if they also win the Supporter Shield, then maybe we could get it. But I don't know if they would let two Canadian teams in. Would they let two Canadian teams in? I mean, I guess if we won the, uh, 
if we win the MLS Cup, they should let us in no matter what. And then there'd be two Canadian teams possibly. Yeah, most likely. Because uh, Toronto won the, the the Canadian championship. So they're in the for next year. That would be interesting. Two Canadian teams and only three American teams. Good times. Good times. We'll see if the Lords of CONCACAF will allow such a travesty. All right, here's Piet. Gets it forward. 51 minutes down. Duvern gets it to D'Alessandro. Centers it. Uh, Kyle Lair not necessarily looking for the ball. Petrasso, that was an interesting cross. Their defense is uh, scrambling right now. Lopez has it. He's going to take an ill-advised shot. Piet's going to settle it down to Junior. Junior tries to get it to Petrasso. It's good thought. But now here they come the Red Bull on the counterattack. Peterson gets by Taylor. Crosses it. Abang loses the header. Torres, though, gets it forward to Philippe. Cabrera bangs it out of there. Come on, boys. Uh, let's play a little better, I think. We at least got some opportunities this half, so this is good. D'Alessandro, nice steal. Duvern's going to bang it forward to Kyle Lahren. Let's see if... No, nope, he's going to drop it back for Lopez. Is he going to return the favor? He's going to sit on the ball. Get it to Junior. It's a good idea. No, nope, they're going to they're gonna pass it back and forth. There's Delisandro. Can't break down this defense all by himself. Or can he? He gets by one man. No, nope, drops it back to Duvern. Lopez, not a great pass. Kyle Lahren, there's a better pass. He gets it to Petrasso, who stays onside and misses. Petrasso doesn't give us that width, you know, so let's make the move. Let's bring in Raheem Edwards. Petrasso's got a 6.3 rating and a yellow card. So let's bring Raheem Edwards in to give us that width. D'Alessandro's not playing particularly much better either. But we... I think I want to keep him in because it seems like he's making plays right now. So let's bring in Raheem Edwards. He'll stay out farther on the left wing, and that'll be fine. So that'll give Kyle Aaron maybe a little bit more room to work. Delisandro as well. I don't mind if Delisandro cuts inside because he's backed up by Duvern, who's coming forward. But on the left-hand side, we got nobody to come forward because Taylor is, is not a very good offensive player. Kyle Lahren, that's a, that's a red card. That's totally a red card. Get out of here with the double scissored kicks. Yeah, Kamar Lawrence, their goal scorer. Down to 10 men. Okay. Okay, now. No, 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 no. We're going 4 4 2. All right, pause it. Um, tactics. We're going on the attack. Piet's got a yellow card. So we're going to get him out of there. We're going to bring in Jackson Amell or Dupuy. Jackson Amell or Dupuy. Jackson Amell has a bit of an injury. My gut says Dupuy. This is, might, might be a little bit uh, backwards, but my gut, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with Dupuy. All right. Let's go, gentlemen. They've gone to a 4-3-2. So they've changed their formation as well. Here we go. Taylor with a free kick. Taylor with a free kick. That's interesting. He sends it down. Lewin heads it out. Lopez gathers it in and, uh, you know, doesn't do very well. We're gonna try longer passing and work the ball in the box. I don't know. Impact dropped down to second place. That's no good. Let's see what happens at the 70 minute mark. If anything, here we go. The highlight for New York. Agner gets uh, swamped there. Taylor with the steal. Gets it forward. There's Dupuy on the run. Let's see what he can do. 
centers it to Kyle Lahren. Not a great pass, but, you know, here's Lopez on the run. Lopez, get it, get it. Great pass to D'Alessandro. He can't get past Robles, though. Robles is tough to get past. But we're going to get a free kick out of it. Lopez sends it in. Cabrera can't get ahead on it. But we're going to chase it down, centering to Edwards. Junior Ramos gets tackled, and ball is bashed out of there. Taylor will go get it eventually. He's not the swiftest guy. New York is rushing forward. That was an interesting pass. Philippe gathers it in a bong to Peterson. Pad pass out wide. Here we go. Delisandro. Can he get it forward to Kyle Aaron? Kyle Aaron's making a run. There it is. He's got Dupuis. Got Dupuis in the middle of the park. Nope. Drops it all the way back for Junior, who takes an ill-advised shot. <sighs> I really wish he would have crossed it to Dupuis right there. That would have been for the best. They have switched their... Okay, they almost switched their defense over to the right-hand side. That was weird. Um, we're going to make more adjustments. Let's go forward. Prevent goalkeeper distribution. 83 minutes. Come on, boys. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay, okay. Something's going on. Can we retain possession? Be more expressive? I don't know. Here we go. Lopez sends one in. Cabrera can't get ahead on it. Del Sandro. His shot's deflected. Come on, boys. 87 minutes. We gotta do something here. Highlight continues, so this is good. Duvern gets it to Del Sandro. Centers to Ramos. He gets it forward. There's Dupuis. Dupuis to Raheem Edwards. Great pass to Kyle Lahren. Easy goal. There it is. Kyle Aaron, the king of the easy goals. That drops us back up to first place. Good save by Duvern. This is a nice win in the middle of the park by Ramos. Great pass forward. Dupuis to Edwards. There we go, boys. I like it. I like it. Um, proceed with tactical change. Yes. <laughs> they keep shifting their midfield to the right and then back again. Strange. I think we're holding on to the ball a little bit too much. Time is going to be just run out. Yeah. 30, 40. Oh, here's Philippe with a free kick. Do not score a goal here. This would be murder. Okay, there we go. Edwards is going to head it out. We escape with another draw. Not the best result, but, you know, keeps us in first place. Probably ends any possible hope we had for Supporter Shield. Take a look at uh, the dressing room. How did we do second half? Taylor played a good game in the second half. So did Lopez, 7.2 rating. Um, Kyle Aaron, 7-0. Edwards came in off the bench with a 6-8. That's pretty good. So I guess we'll keep Edwards in the starting lineup and bring Petrasso off the bench. I forgot to pep talk the boys, but that's okay. So we got a bit of a packed schedule coming up. Not necessarily for Montreal, but uh, you know for everybody else. First, let's take a look at the competitions. We are tied with Orlando, 51 points. Portland has won again, so there's 62 points, 11 points up on us, so there's no catch in them. We could still possibly catch LAFC, six points back with three to go, three games to go. But it's not that important, honestly, finishing third or second, no big deal. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, schedule. Not necessarily for Montreal, but for Portugal. We got some some stuff going on. You know, it's I'm not showing this right now because it's just the UEFA National League, which I don't think anybody ever cares about. 
But we did in the first game that I coached. Got a 1-1 draw versus England in the first game of the group stage. That's after they beat um, Portugal 2-0 in the ch European Championship. That was uh, way back in June. So that's probably the game that got their coach fired. So we came back against England 1-1. That's pretty good. At least we didn't lose. And then we beat Poland 3-0. And uh, we picked our squad for our next game, which is Ukraine. And I don't know if you're interested in our squad or not, but this is it. We're going with a 4-2-3-1 because Portugal has a ton of advanced uh, playmakers, advanced forwards. Not advanced forwards, advanced midfielders. Um, Jota, really good, 23 years old, valued at $49 million. They got a lot of guys with a lot of value. Silva, Man City, 70 million dollar man that's like more than every player in the entire eastern conference combined i think it was 70 million but anyway look at this guy really good playmaker in the middle of the field andre silva on the right hand side paid at 72 million at, from as monaco he's only 24 years old very good player so they just got a lot of playmakers where they struggle where we struggle is defensively we've had to just sort of cobble together any sort of defenders we can find, especially with some recent injury problems we've had with the roster. I mean, look at this reserves. Got a bunch of two-star guys in the reserves. But what's crazy is even their two-star guys, this guy's worth $26 million, a two-star player. I mean, he's still pretty decent. At you know, I'd take him for sure. 18 aggression, 15 tackling, 15 pace. You know, he's really... He's pretty good, but just we're we're working on another level here. So you know, we've had to bring in Ivan Marcano, you know, due to injuries. Almeida still valued at five point seven five million, even though he's thirty years old now. So yeah, we got some depth issues, but I think our starters are pretty good, especially on the attack. So we're try to like control the ball, try to score a lot, and play sort of a free flowing game and. Uh, just score a lot of goals is our hope so we'll see how that works out for portugal but that'll come later we got um some actual competitions i'll be showing you later in the the season which will be the world cup qualifying so that's not for a while but you know just thought i'd give you a little sneak peek into portugal a lot of good attacking midfielders sort of everything else i mean some pretty decent midfielders all around a little light on strikers on pure strikers but their wingers are so good that they can score from the wing but uh yeah defensively is our issue so we'll uh we'll come back to them later and next game for montreal will be seattle in the western conference or will it how are they doing where is where is seattle no they're 19th place i think we can skip that game and come back for San Jose, which is uh, a team that was at the top of the league not too long ago. But they've started falling. They've fell, fallen back to fifth. Already played 32 games, only have 50 points. So we'll, that'll be a good judge anyway to see. They're around the top of the Western Conference. We'll see how we stack up against them. So we'll come back for that game, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.